Hey guys, Byron here for you at Cardinals training camp. Uh, boy, they sure do have a pretty good roster, but it's been a rocky few weeks and a slow start to training camp for these Cardinals. Uh, we have Kyler Murray who missed time with COVID and uh, he's still not a full participant, light participant. I mean, looks good in the limited action that he has out there, certainly moving well, throws the ball nicely, but not very involved in practice at this juncture of camp. Um, Cliff Kingsbury said today that Kyler will not participate at all in the preseason, or if he does, it'll be very, very few and far between. Um, Colt McCoy banged up, not practicing. Daryl Williams, some think that he's kind of maybe the third guy in this running back rotation, possibly a 2B to Enos 2A. Uh, not practicing in civvies today, um, undisclosed, some type of undisclosed issue going on with him. Stud rookie tight end, Trey McBride, not practicing. Uh, Cliff Kingsbury spoke very highly of him today, but in hopes that he has a big role, thinks he can, but certainly not nearly as involved as they were hoping early in training camp. And then Hollywood Brown, I mean, he was – he was participating today, but it was still somewhat limited. I, they say he's going to be a full go, uh, hopefully tomorrow at camp. Uh, I think certainly when you see him on the field and, you know, he did participate in some team drills and, um, you know, so he was out there matched up against the defense. And I think in the limited action, I saw Hollywood Brown. It was pretty evident that he was the best wide receiver on the field. I mean, the guy just moves incredibly well out there uh, so definitely looks like a good uh, good fit here in Arizona I think he looks like the most talented wide receiver on the roster at this point you know we'll have to see what that looks like when Hopkins comes back um, but definitely I think this is a team that's going to spread it around you know AJ Green is still here he still looked pretty decent at times Rondell Moore probably got the most snaps of the wide receivers at the wide receivers at the top of the Cardinals depth chart today um, but he didn't necessarily get an enormous amount of targets you know we're seeing a lot of two tight end formations you know the word is that even during Zach Ertz's breakout last year they were still in these two tight end formations uh, it was in fact just true that Kyler had a good chemistry with them so hopefully that uh, will continue this year but uh, they definitely got a rotation at tight end. I mean, there's seven guys on the roster uh, right now. Max Williams and Steven Anderson are looking pretty good. I think they'll keep three, maybe four tight ends here as much as they intend to use them. And then obviously you have the rookie McBride. So we got to consider, you know, what does that mean for Ertz over the long haul? If you're going to have all these other guys in there and, you know, uh, McBride and Steven Anderson a little bit better, maybe pass catchers than they had in years past. So, Definitely something uh, to watch there. I think this can be a team that spreads it around. Uh, probably stood out to me the most is James Conner is a beast. That is a big dude, and he is fast as hell. Uh, very clearly one of the leaders on this team. I think we should all be very, very comfortable investing a very high pick in James Conner in our fantasy leagues. And then, yeah, behind that, you know, I got kind of a mixed, uh, mixed feedback today on what's going on behind James Conner. I mean, certainly Eno Benjamin getting a lot of run out there. Um, like I said, Daryl Williams not really participating today. Uh, if you listen to some of the media sources around here, they'll tell you they think it's going to be a little bit of a 2A, 2B situation with Eno Benjamin and Daryl Williams. But if you listen to veterans like Kelvin Beecham, uh, if you listen to Eno himself, if you listen to even what Cliff Kingsbury said, it, it really, really appears that Eno is on a fast track to, if not completely replace Chase Edmonds, at least be pretty clearly the number two guy. I think that's potentially a nice role here. So, you know, let's call him a, a flex player uh, to begin the season.